Welcome to the new seventh season of PWCI This Week. I am the Mad Conservative Crime Fighter, and as we close in on Halloween weekend, we present matches from a new promotion in Central Illinois. Over a week ago, a studio taping was held inside Pinfall Academy, in which our cameras were there. And in a simulcast, we present matches from Bittersweet Pro, who will hold their first official event in Havana, Illinois, on December the 18th. But today, we'll get a preview of what this promotion will offer. So let's check out the first ever Bittersweet Pro Match. Wrestling fans, your opening contest for No More Secrets is scheduled for one fall. Your official for this evening will be referee Jason Pemberton. Introducing the first competitor standing in the corner to my right. From West Palm Beach, Florida, we get 235 pounds, Austin Brian! by Rip Studwell jumping at Austin Ryan for the bell. Ready to get your money's worth? Yeah. Studwell, house of fire, catching Austin Ryan off guard. Well, here at PWCI this week, we like to uh, teach a new talent when we can. Those people we need to get to know them. They've turned out for a wrestling event. Kind of take a look at what is coming to your area. And who they can see in the show here. You! But these individuals are new. New wrestlers. Hustle Ryan from Indiana. Rip Studwell. Trained at the Zen of Wrestling Academy. That's Zawa. There's a DDT. Austin Ryan cannot get going. There's a cover. One count. And interesting enough, I don't have a lot of time here. Austin Ryan will be presenting Hybrid Championship Wrestling in Terrell, Indiana on November the 12th. Head to head with New Way Pro. I didn't see that coming. Oh, hair pull and Studwell yanks him down by the hair. Boo! Can't prove anything. Shut your mouth. Boo! Studwell talking trash here at Pinball Academy. Paul Cammy will head out facility for studio tapings as well as the birthday parties or private events. Contact us. Pay.cc a CAD. Find out more information. Off the ropes. Austin Ryan. Russian leg sweep. And down goes Rip Studwell. A cad to hype him in there. Oh, Goes here for the uh, studio taking, getting behind Austin Ryan. Shot to the face. Locking the shots from Studwell. Pouncing in the corner. Ryan's getting going here. Hard whip into the corner. By the way, this is a 16-foot ring. It's, only it's the widest ring they can fit in this building. This is the training. People can in Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. There's a suplex from, suplex from Austin Ryan. 
two to count. New Sweet Pro, of course, was supposed to run on October the 2nd. They had to call that off because circumstances uh, precipitated that uh, they needed to uh, get the ducks in a row a little bit more before attempting to run the first event. There's a side suplex. A little bit of... There we go. Cover. And Studwell not staying down. And only this weekend, we'll talk about in the next segment, only a couple of shows happening this Halloween weekend as Studwell begging off in the corner, complaining to the referee. Austin Ryan goes in, pushes the referee aside, and low blow from Rip Studwell, and he wins the first ever Bittersweet Pro match. Made short work of uh, Austin Ryan. Studwell's a ripoff. Four minutes, five seconds. Studwell wins. Well, maybe we'll see more of these guys. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to take a look at the weekend schedule. If you can believe it, the son of the founder of the Nosebleed Seats. Very, very familiar. Very familiar. Yes, Chris Cooper, or Chris Lee Cooper, founder of the Nosebleed Seats so many years ago. And looky here. Cameron in the ring, one by the name. The Prodigy CMC. That's his uh, his initials of his real name. Hopefully, I can call him by his. Call him Cam for short. But <laughs> yeah, I've known him. Has anyone known him since he was a toddler? So. Means I'm getting old, and so is everybody else. And Cecil Zaversa was wrestling for New Breed Wrestling Alliance way back when. Cam fighting for that armbar, and Cecil with the uh, side headlock on the Prodigy shoves him off. Arm drag. Cam was the winner of a uh, 
Battle Royal over at 0-1 in Decatur. Big win in front of his hometown. Cecil Cervesa. Test of strength and CMC is almost as tall as Surface up. Well, now that they're standing, well, I guess it gets up about a foot in height. Damn, test the strike that Cecil with the stomp. Now, I need to get something I forgot to mention. I mentioned last week there was uh, news about Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase. Well, forgot to uh, state what that news was. Ted DiBiase and his sons have been ordered to pay back combined $5 million to the state of Mississippi for. Uh, Basically, misuse of funds, government funds. Dibiase was up in the St. Louis area for uh, SICW recently, and that order came, came down. He has to pay that money back. He has to pay back about $800,000. Ted Jr. Almost four million. Brett DiBiase, the other son, has to pay over two hundred thousand. Good grief! All this, all the grant money back to the Mississippi Department of Human Services. Kind of a bizarre story. I made the countdown last year. The top 10 news stories of the year since he was a big part of the St. Louis wrestling scene and the wrestling at the chase way back when. Cecil yanks CMC off the ropes. Cover to count. Speaking of SICW, they're holding their big Legends convention at the Bell Clair Fairgrounds in Belleville, Illinois on. Saturday, October 30th, Halloween Eve. And Cecil Cerveza choking Cam on the mat. The only other show happening Halloween weekend, Ajay Productions in Mount Vernon for their monthly show. But that's it for Halloween. Things pick up the following weekend. There are some epic running two shows that weekend. All Elite Wrestling in St. Louis. NWA Unlimited and Noble running a Friday night show. All League Wrestling, United Wrestling Coalition with its farewell to Shank. Shank Barzini, who is officially calling it quits. He'll be in Homer, Illinois on the 6th of November. And Cecil Cerveza takes down. Cameron, kick to the head, cover, two to count. Of course, a couple of Sunday shows. Lloyd Pro and World Powerhouse on Sunday the 7th. This is Vesa picking up Cam. Take him to the corner. Big chop. That was a very loud chop. Very loud chop. And Cecil Cerveza with the uppercut. Choke in the corner. And Cam, the spitting image of his father, the host, the patriarch of the Millsville Seats. Cecil shot to the head. Slugs. Cameron down. CMC, the prodigy, chopped in the corner. Snap mare, kick to the back. That 
can train down at IWN Limited. A lot of commutes down to uh, Noble. Where he trained to become a professional wrestler. I was asked about uh, compiling a list of uh, all the wrestling schools. I mean, four schools in the St. Louis area. Of course, Zawa and Scott County, or the Black and the Brave, in the Quad Cities in the north west corner of the state. Cecil! Face breaker. Off the ropes. Cameron fires back. High knee. And Cameron! Spinning. Clothesline. Takes down Cecil Cerveza. This is our first look at the Prodigy CMC, who has been wrestling down at uh, I well and zero one, of course, he is a rookie. Sister Cerveza, 15 year veteran. Yes! Slugging away. Yes! Well, Sister Cerveza has taken some time off himself, so he's been out of the game for a few years. Just recently coming back. Irish whip, reversal. Swing a mess. Cameron, side elbow. Takes down Cecil Cerveza. Elbow to the back. Leg drop. Look for the cover. One, two, and three. Right on top of things. Here at Pinfall Academy. Cameron, kick. Trying to run up the ropes, but doesn't have the leverage. And Cecil Cerveza tried to pick him up. Didn't get a grip. Ooh! Drops him down face first to the mat and put on the rope. Well, in the 16 foot ring, you do have the ropes are closer to force a rope break. That's the one advantage, one plus to having this size of ring. And roll the dice by Cecil Cerveza. Uh, Not going for the cover. That's a mistake. The kick to the wrist of Cameron. CMC. Oh, look at this. Tripped him, rolled him up. It's a three count! The Prodigy CMC victorious in a flash fall! The announcement, yep, I guess I didn't hear the announcement. Nine minutes, 30 seconds, he earned that one against the veteran Cecil Cerveza. Well, we're gonna get one more match in this episode of PWCI this week, so... We'll take another quick break. If you've ever wanted to be in the professional wrestling business, here's your chance now. Contact Pinfall Academy at 217-670-5151 or at pinfallacademy at gmail.com located at 1320 South 11th Street, Springfield, Illinois. At Pinfall Academy, you can learn to be a wrestler, referee, valet, manager, Anything having to do with professional wrestling, we'll teach you how to get it done. Pinfall Academy, will you be our next star? This next contest is scheduled for one fall. 
Introducing first stand in the corner to my right, from Mattoon, Illinois, weighing in 165 pounds, JPP, John Pierce Pierce! Oh, yeah. It's my time. It's my time. And introducing his opponent, standing in the corner to my left, from Forsyth, Illinois, weighing in 200 pounds, the 5 foot 7, gift from heaven, Oliver. All right, the veteran Oliver Kane taking on a newcomer, Jean Pierce Pierre. This one on one contest to close out this edition of PWCI this week. Do want to note that uh, Bittersweet Pro will be uh, releasing the matches aired on this program from a different from different camera angles with their own. Uh, Play-by-play play and commentary as Oliver Kane tries to take out Pierre with a knee strike, running knee, and kicks out at two. That would be insane if we had a, like a flash fall like that. And then a record fall just in the very first, basically the third match of the show. Out to the face, and Pierre gets nailed as he tried to slingshot through the middle rope, and Oliver Kane, the veteran, making him pay. And a cover, two count. Just a note, Oliver Kane will be Shake Barzini's final opponent, November the 6th. The site of United Wrestling Coalition will be hosting a farewell event for Shake Barzini, who is going to officially retire. I thought he retired after the, uh, the uh, I guess you could call it the cinematic match between him and Joey O'Reilly. The movie match took place over two episodes. There's a drop kick to the knee by Oliver Kane. Barzini came back for another year after uh, supposedly walking away due to uh, neck issues and all the damage that he sustained over the years. As he took some wild and crazy bumps, who can forget? Well, it's like one of the scenes I remember. Jimmy Carrot doing a dive off the balcony from Shank Berzini hitting the table. Pierre yanks the arm of Oliver Kane. Not a lot of room between the ring apron and the wall. Pierre managed to get him get that uh, senton in. Close line. And it's easier to do it from the uh, Far side, on the near side of the ring, but not, not the sides that are against the wall. There's a cover. Two to count. First week for OBS, we'll on their Facebook page, will uh, release this matches that we showed here. The third interpretation of events. And commentary, and probably a little bit more content. And we'll show more Bittersweet Pro next week here on the program. Three more matches. There's a kick to the face. They will be a little bit out of order, but. What the? Oh! He kissed him on the head. Come on, head back. Oliver Kane drops. What's the death? Uh, in the ring now. Let's go. Jean Pierre. Pierce Pierre on the bottom rope. Flying head scissors. And Oliver Kane. Oh! JPP explodes! Gets a two count! About su surprised Oliver Kane, the veteran there. 
Barely kicked out of that. I, he did not expect that. Explosive offense and a JPP. Sean Pierce Pierre. Gonna run up the ropes. Tornado DDT. Didn't get the in. I don't think he got all of that. Certainly, he did the maneuver, but didn't get the impact he would need to make that move all effective. And Oliver Kim just rolled, rolled with it to uh, minimize whatever damage GPP was trying to do to him. And Pierce, non Pierce Pierre. Twirls over, grabs. Purple across cross faces what it looks like from this side. Can't really get a, we're on the back side of this, but yep, that is most definitely the purple cross face as Oliver King gets a foot on the bottom rope. The 16 foot ring, it's much easier to get to the ropes in a 16 foot ring than an 18 or a 20 foot ring. You have a lot more to go. And the typical person is six foot tall. Uh, basically, you have to get him in the center of the ring if you got a submission on him. Oliver Kane blows the. Come on, he's punching in the back of the head. A little bit of dirty maneuvers from Oliver Kane. There's a German suplex. Firing punches or forearms or whatever the heck he's delivering blows to the back of the head, which is illegal in most uh, fighting sports. I can't imagine it's any different than professional wrestling. Oh, what a pop! Tombstone! Pop driver! That's gonna be it. Oliver Kane! Drops John Pierce Pierre in a pile driver and gets the three count. The veteran Oliver Kane victorious to close out this edition of PWCI this week. Yes, we are going to have more matches next week. Six minutes, time of the fall. Three more matches from the studio tapings we held right here at Pitfall Academy. Well, I want to wish everybody a happy and safe Halloween. Go get your treats. This is the only time you should be wearing a mask. Not, uh, because supposedly it's to protect your health. Good night, everybody.